was born in Moscow and I grew up in Tel Aviv. I play guitar and uh, piano and um, synthesizer, tambourine, um, basically anything I could possibly put my hands on. Um, but usually I perform with a guitar. You know, I, I never took any singing lessons or anything of that sort. Even though I wanted to when I was little, but I just couldn't... Um, like, I couldn't study in any sort of conventional structure, so I just started doing it by myself. How would I describe my music? Um, theatrical, wordy, um, kind of strange. I released an album this year, and uh, a week ago I released an EP with four songs, and um, I finished a full-length album with King Khan, but it's not released yet, and I suppose probably sometime next year. Well, the first album was about war, so it was mostly me being preachy and annoying. And um, the album that I just finished now, which is called Eden, is another conceptual album about uh, how modern society is kind of crumbling down. Um, but uh, I mostly write about things that um, make me well, things that I think I'm unhappy about. So it's both mostly complaining. <laughs> um, I listen to a lot of strange novelty music from various decades, starting from the 1920s or before that, and um, a lot of 50s, a lot of 60s, weird spacey music from the 70s, glam rock, um, 80s no wave, um, nothing that I like from the 90s really. <laughs> it's, it's a way to express yourself. Um, it feels therapeutic, but also it, it gives things that otherwise would be meaningless a meaning. Um, and uh, I guess that it's something that society doesn't really need, but, but since we have so much, um, it's a bit like being a parasite and living off of other people's excess. Mm -hmm. So it's not needed, but it's, it's, a nice thing to, and it's a nice thing to have. I love Berlin. It's very open, it's very mixed. It allows strange underground societies to exist without really being forced to face mainstream society. It's very easy to ignore the mainstream society in Berlin. Um, and uh, you can really do really bizarre things, experimental things, and nobody would judge you for it. And um, there's a lot of curiosity and knowledge and... Um, and you don't have to constantly feel the pressure of making more money, because Berlin is not really about that, at this point at least. I think that um, a lot of people give up too easily because they think that somebody has to discover them. And I think that if um, somebody doesn't come to them and tell them, you're going to become a star, you have to give up. And I think even when things are not going so well, you should still hang on to whatever you think you should be doing. And and um, stick to it, be creative and try to think of new ways to, um, to, um, to get it done, to reach people, to um, invest in new projects and just constantly keep busy, try to do something other than just give up and get depressed. Mm. Probably 1997, something by the Backstreet Boys. Probably their second album. <laughs> Great work of art. <laughs>
them what's happened. They'll sue your ears with more lies. All the women are whipping, but there are stars in our eyes. 